Hello and welcome. This is Robocraft, and we're going to be playing with uh, Scorpio thingy this time. This is a brand new vehicle you have yet to see, and this is the first time we're going to be seeing the uh, the Walker uh, vehicles. So I've got uh, the uh, the the walking legs. I have five of them on this thing, and obviously you see the Scorpion kind of motif I'm going for. Not all that original, but uh, you know it works, especially for the rail cannons. Um, I have a number of tier six rail cannons. And a, the one up here is a tier 8, and then I think these are tier 4 or 5, I can't really remember. But the main reason is they were the only things that would fit in this space. So it gives me a, another extra couple shots. Um, I have tier 8 up armor here, up here, but I'm in the process of upgrading, so there's kind of a hodgepodge of tier 5 and 4 armor in the back. Uh, mostly because I ran, ran out of funds to upgrade the rest of the armor, but that's something I'll do eventually. So let's go ahead and hop into a match here. We're into tier 7. Um, and I have found it a little tricky to uh, find success with this vehicle. A lot of it is dependent on your team. If you do have kind of a weaker team, uh, you don't <laughs> often, you know, succeed very well uh, because... You know, the rate of fire is so slow for the rail cannons that, you know, an SMG vehicle essentially by itself can just rush you and just plaster you. And this vehicle was not necessarily meant, I mean, built uh, for durability, even though I do have some tier 8 armor on it. So, uh, you know, it's meant for more long-range shooting, and I'm not really, you know, equipped to handle rushdowns. So, that's kind of something I have to be mindful of. Uh, we do have at least one medic tank that I can see, and hopefully he doesn't rush the enemy and get himself killed, like I see happen time and time again. Okay. It's been a little while since I've played with rail cannons, so I do have to kind of get used to it. And the way that my rail cannons are set up, I have to be a little bit careful with my positioning, or the shots will not uh, land very well. Looks like we've got somebody over here. Hit him a little bit. Let's get our aim in. And he shot me. Hit him again. And it looks like he blew off all of my cannons. So I gotta go get repaired. All the ones I hadn't fired. Fortunate for him. Because I probably would have hit him a couple more times. Okay, we have a bad guy over here. Who we're gonna be shooting in a second. And that guy walked right in front of my shot, unfortunately. Got one hit in. Okay. Now. Oh, we got somebody over here. Ah, he went behind that hill, unfortunately. We got a baddie here. Be patient with the shot. Soup. Ah, missed. So we'll go back in here and cover. I think that my team is playing all right here. Uh, as a matter of fact, it looks like we're winning. So it shouldn't be too bad of a match for us. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I really did a whole lot in this match. That's how quickly my team uh, destroyed the enemy. And I kind of notice a trend for that sometimes is that Sometimes, you know, teams will just get stomped like this. I mean, they've only killed one guy on my team, and they only have one guy left on theirs. And he is apparently somewhere over there. Either that or somebody just having a little bit of fun. Oh, no, he is over there. Oh, we've got a rail cannon, so hopefully we can get a good shot on him if we get into position. Okay. I'm not sure what he's doing. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get the caps. Not worry about him, because he's probably going to run away. Yeah, he's dead. So that was kind of a boring match. It's one that we easily won, but I didn't do necessarily a whole lot. Maybe I got an assist or two. I mean, I played as smart, but at the same time, not a whole lot accomplished. So let's hop into one more match, but I can't promise that that's going to go well. As you see, sometimes a lot of it's dependent on your team. And with, as I said, with the rail cans, you really depend on your team. Uh, because you're more of a support role than a, uh, a straight-up combatant. I only think, honestly, that the uh, SMG-equipped and the plasma uh, cannon-equipped uh, 
vehicles are true combat vehicles. Most other vehicles are going to be support vehicles, and even plasma, the plasma cannon ones can be support vehicles depending on how their vehicle is built. Usually, uh, the plasma cannons and the SMGs are going to be your frontline combatants. Again, depending on their build. <laughs> so we're going to keep with the pack, mostly because we need the, uh, the heals, possibly. Downside of this map is the way that it's constructed. It can be a little bit difficult to get uh, sniping. As a matter of fact, I might actually have to go the other way because that's probably the better sniping position. Unfortunately, it looks like we only have one medic vehicle and it is going the other way. And I just flipped myself. <laughs> this is a real problem sometimes with the, uh, with the walker vehicles. And because I'm sliding, I can't even try and right myself. Come on. Stop sliding so I can right myself. That's one thing that's really annoying about the, uh... This, like, fighter thing that you have. Is that it only works if you're staying still. And then you have things like that where it just flips you right back over. And now I have to wait for it to be stationary again. SMG drone spotted. Okay. Just did a... Oh, come on. Medic hover spotted. There. That should do it. Oh, that was embarrassing. Got a little bit of a hit there. Try and go in for some positioning, maybe. Ow. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Gosh dang it. That was stupid of me. I should have stayed back. That was just retarded stupid of me. 